Guys, um, today I wanted to show you how to use Illustrator um, and how to create your sheets in Illustrator and um, put rulers and create layers. So basic, basic stuff you need to do at the beginning of the project. Um, first thing you need to know is um, you want to open a new um, you don't want it from the template. You can just make your own template. So you could just go Command N or <clears throat> File, um, File New. Then in here, that's where um, you can basically put how big you want your sheets to be, how many sheets do you need, stuff like that. Um, you can name your project. So I'm just going to keep the same name. Um, you can put, uh, you can, um, let's see, here you can choose your units. So you can say you want inches, or if you're any other countries than America, you can do centimeters. Um, I'm going to do inches here. And I'm going to keep my sheets at 8.5 by 11, but you can change them to, I don't know. 30 by 40 or 30 by 30 um, you can say hey I want four sheets and I want them to be all um, in a row vertically and if you can yeah that's it and then you can say okay now you have four sheets. I have 30 by 30. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to bring your rulers. So you want to go to view and um, you want to go down to rulers and you want to show the ruler or you can just say command R if you're in Mac. Um, so now you have your rulers top and on your left. Um, basically you can do command and the bracket or command plus plus to um, zoom into this one to the first sheet or you can do command zero and it would zoom into the first sheet so if, whenever you want to just have see your sheet you can just say command zero and you have your sheet um, now I want to have uh, rulers or I want to put myself some lines so I have some guidelines so from the bottom what you do is just drag down a line so what I did was I just dragged down a line and I'm gonna just leave it here if you click on the line it says here how much you have it down so you can go here and you can just fix it and put like 1.5 and then it will just put out 1.5 inches or if you just want a shorter one, you can just say 0.5 inches. And then now you have a 0.5 inch. You could do the same thing with this side too. What you do is you just take your mouse and you just drag it. And you can just put it at 0.5. If you click on this again, you see it says 60. I'm just going to put and here I'm gonna put 0.5 no extras <clears throat> so now you have that for all of your sheets I mean this side um, then what if you want to just like create something what you do is um, let me show you how to make layers first so these are some if you click on this side you would have there's two squares and it says layers if you just hover over it it says layers um, and then there's sub layers inside of it so in layer one so far we have our two guidelines and then you can just close it if you want to create a new layer you can just click on this little Thing, and it says create a new layer and you can just hit it and it will create a new layer 
and it's red so for example if you want if you want to rename it and let's say I want to rename this as rulers <coughs> or guides or whatever you want to like zero layer okay you could do that and then you could just drag this to or just select them and you can just drag them in oh, I'm sorry not this this will lock them you could just drag them and you see that blue line here you could just drag it to the red line and now they are under the red layer and if you just lock it you cannot move these layers if you want to select them they won't select um, and then so you can create your layers here you can say hey I want a title for my titles Oops. title and then you can like create a title and then you can in here you can say hey I want to be 75 but it's too small so but you can just highlight it and put 100 and you can say hello um, you can select them change them to whatever other um, font you want So now this text is under your title layer. So if you just lock it, you cannot touch it. Um, let's see. So that's how you make your layers. Um, in the next video, I'll show you how to trace and how to bring pictures in.